Oh, good morning, Michael. How are you, sir? All right, Roger. How are you? Most wonderful, most wonderful, most wonderful. The markets, though, uh, not so much responding mm -hmm. to events in China. Yeah, this uh, spreading coronavirus uh, having a, a ripple effect through the financial markets, as you might expect, and it's uh, particularly uh, hitting one particular sector, uh, aviation stocks and the travel industry. Right off the bat, you're going to see a reaction there, and it's uh, some of those companies are down 3 to 4%. Uh, the Asia-Pacific markets were down today by two and a half to uh, uh, about two and a half percent overall as uh, investors you know uh, harken back to uh, SARS and uh, you know the the economic implications mm -hmm. that that uh, had at the time and what it could mean in the short term here uh, specifically for Asia Pacific economies and then uh, globally so the flip side of this Roger is yep. pharmaceutical stocks uh, Melanie was talking about how uh, face masks for example were in short supply pharmaceutical companies have jumped in some cases by as much as 20 percent today on the Asia Pacific uh, trading activity and you so, I can imagine tourism officials here will be keeping a close all, eye on all this right. the, as, as this develops uh, you're going to see the implications uh, uh, coming up all right, uh, Trump's in Davos. Yep. It's going full swing here. What do you got for that? Well, he's talking, of course, and many expected him to do this, uh, a victory lap, so to speak, on the recent trade deals uh, signed with China, the USMCA trade accord, of course, the hyperbole that Trump is want to do uh, related to, you know, the U.S. economy never stronger than before and, and creating all of these jobs. And to some extent, he is correct. Uh, and at the same time, you know, this is... Uh, sort of a, a, a poke back at the globalist theme of the World Economic Forum um, with more of a nationalist standpoint uh, from the U.S. president. Interesting footnote, though. I just saw a headline here uh, just before coming on set. Yep. Uh, Greta Thunberg's at this event, and uh, Trump has just pledged to join this international uh, uh, joint venture for all intents and purposes to plant one trillion trees. Wow. Literally. So a nod to the, uh, to the environment. Oh, in his speech this morning. Maybe he's coming around. <laughs> Who knows? Well, yeah, I know. Uh, one, la one quick question, 737, yes. the, uh, the MAX, they want to rename it? Well, they're talking about one it. Of the head of the International Lease Air uh, Finance Corporation, Stephen uh, Hawsey, is a, is a global player in the aviation sector. They buy a lot of planes from Boeing, and he says, look, at the, the connotation, the consumer uh, fallout from uh, the MAX designation, you're going to have people going, I don't want to fly that plane, when it is recertified and, yeah. and cleared for takeoff. So he says it's got to be renamed, and people will, not necessarily immediately, but eventually kind of forget the, uh, the connotation, the tie to the MAX. So I was saying this to Melanie earlier about the fact that, you know, when you fly on an aircraft, I've, I've talked to people in the past and say, well, what, what'd you, what plane were you on? Do they know? I don't, I don't know. No, most people <laughs> Was don't. it a Boeing? Was it an Airbus? What size? Whether or not people are more attuned to that now remains to be seen. For now, I think they are, but eventually it fades, especially exactly. if it looks like they've corrected that, uh, that frightening issue. They Still have. has to be recertified, though, and then we'll see. Yep. All right, Mike, thank you very much, sir. Have yourself thank you. a great day. You too.